girls and guys, it is Sarah from Style Let's Play, and we are back with another episode of Server Saturday. And today is the day where we have our first official build challenge winner. Or we're going to. We're gonna go check out third, second, and first place, and then some notable mentions. Is that what they usually call it? Not notable mentions? I don't know. You know what I mean though. So let's go ahead and take a look around, see who's here, and then we will get to the build challenge so over here we have frozen lover hello over here we have anna and mariah and chicken ross and then on this side we have melody kimberly krista cree woo woo over here krista it's just a bit short no i think they're a little bit short no 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 <laughs> and then over here we have slayer elisa musical guy eddie and cuppy cups let's go on down here we have Rotag, oh, with the Steve skin. Rocking that Steve skin, though. Harry, Wolf, Katie. We have Ashley over there. Kitty Cat and Ducky. And then we have, oh, Cookie. And who's this by themselves? It's Chibi. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and go off to the build challenge area. All right, so our first notable mention. So again, these are people that unfortunately didn't win, but still had really awesome builds. So I wanted to go ahead and show them. The first one is by Ducky Queen One Two Three. So she has her little starter house over here, right on this side. You got your front door. You had everything you need: your bed, crafting table, furnaces, chest, and then oh, I just I'm griefing your plot. And then over here. We have a little bits and bob shack over here. So this could be a, like your official storage area, like a shed kind of thing. Very, very nice. You've got your little pond over here with your fishing rods and your little seat over here. I think the only reason why this one didn't place is because I would have liked to see some paths joining things up together and all of that good stuff. So let's go on to the next notable mention. So this next one is built by Melody98 and she did a really really good job. I will tell you guys um, kind of like my, the only things I would change a little bit later. But first let's check out her starter house itself. So here it is. It's just stone bricks and some slabs. Just easy materials to gather when you're first starting off. And here you have all your necessities including an armor stand, a little place to eat, and a storage area and a bed up at the top which all look really really nice and it's very simple and easy to build we have a lake over here your wheat farm and you have your little tea torches all around i think the only things i would change is i would have probably made the paths going this way a little bit bigger and i think extending the wheat a bit further down and scattering it out a little bit more would have just made everything come together a lot better but still really good job melody so this next build is by dank saya and um uh, the only reason why this one for me didn't personally place is because it seems more to me like a normal house than a starter house. It doesn't really seem like someone could just, you know, join the game and let's say 20 minutes in build something like this because it is quite a big build, especially with the windmill. But if this was brought to a smaller scale, I think this would have been perfect so like it's not always easy to get clay when you're first starting off in the game but like i said really really nice designs i love 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 these little lights that you made for the paths i think they are amazing here we have the little windmill over here and i think this little back area to your house where you can keep your horses and stuff looks fantastic so great great job saya i think you did an amazing amazing job but like I said, this to me seems more like a, a normal house rather than just a starter house. So still really good job. I'm amazed with your build, girl. So a good job on this one. This next house is by Chibi for Life. And when I was talking to the mods about it, I believe someone actually wanted this one to place and stuff. But we uh, we all talked about it. Or we all gave our opinion on what should be the top three and stuff. But then I kind of made my decision and stuff. But still, this was such a great, great build. Um, I like the fact that you went in head and like built a little mine over here. You have, again, your windmill. And I think, again, that's kind of one of the reasons for me that this one didn't win win it is because again this seems more like a house house rather than a starter house so over here you have your windmill and then your actual house is over here and you have an enchantment well, not enchantment room but you have your bookshelves and stuff and then up here you have your enchantment room with your bed and all your um 
chest, this is actually a really good idea for windows, like window blinds and stuff. So that's really, really, really nice. Good job on that, Chibi. And let's go out here. And let me show you guys some other parts of my favorite things about this. I love the little bridge going over this little pond over here. I think it looks really cute. I love the trees and the leaves draping from the top of the house. Great, great job. But now it is time to actually announce the winners. So let's start off with third place. So with third place, we have Cokeman000. And I think the reason why I just had to have this one play place um, is because it was totally outside of the box so this is a starter house in what could be a jungle biome so coke man went ahead and kind of it's not really a complete house with like a whole roof and stuff but you have everything you need including some doors so the doors lead to your little bedroom over here stone age pc some people use today um, you have your chest you have your little brewing station here, your armor stand, and then over here you have your furnaces. And I like the fact that if you were in a jungle biome, you could legit make your house like this. Like you could have little paths leading to other trees and stuff. And then he added a cave over here. Um, I like this little like patio area here and a key component to this build as well, besides the fact that it was in a jungle, is that all of these things are things that you can get quite quickly um, when you start the game. Of course, not the brewing stand and the anvil and things like that, but as far as building your starter base, this was a great idea. So good job, Coke Man, and congrats on third place. Now it's time for second place. In second place, we have Derpy Ronnie, and I just absolutely love this house. Um, I, you know what, what did it for me? It was the swing legit was this way like th this swing right here was just like ah how could you not and then we have like the little outdoor bathroom area over here and you have just and like not anvils um hay bales as decorations all around and stuff and you have your little pond um this house even though it uses bricks which i think is quite difficult to get at first if you replace the bricks with something else it's quite a very simple house to build it doesn't look simple it still looks really nice and detailed Detailed, but it is simple to build so even like the little chimney <laughs> the chimney at the top is adorable so you come in here you have your little patio and you come inside you have a perfect place for a kitchen I love these towels in the front I think that looks absolutely wonderful and the refrigerator over here you have your little living room area you go on downstairs and you have your bedroom. And that's really all that you need in a house. So I think, let's see, is that it? Then you have this little outdoor balcony over here. So besides just like the indoor decorations, like the ender dragon head that you're not gonna get when you first start off, I really did love this build. I thought it was a really nice starter house. It's easy, it looks really fancy and stuff. And if somebody saw it, they'd be like, whoa, this is extraordinary, but it is simple to build. So good job and congrats on second place. Now off to the grand finale first place so with first place we have kappa quivion i think i'm saying your name right and i thought this was such a really nice put together build and i thought it was a perfect size starter house the materials were really nice and again it's one of those builds that looks really intricate but it's easy to go ahead and redo in your own world and i thought like just everything about it was really nice so let's go ahead and take a look at the house first so it just uses stone brick stairs and some spruce wood and oak logs so once you go inside in here you have all your necessities you have your furnace your bed crafting table ender chest enchantment table anvils everything fits in here and even if you take all of that away you have enough room in here to have a nice little storage system going on with your beds and stuff and then when you go out here i love the paths i thought they were really really well done and i like the 
that you scattered the leaves around with the fences and nothing is perfect but it's like a perfect mess kind of situation you also have a little pond over here and then this could be used as a lot of things you could put a farm under here you could put your horses whatever it might be and again it's not difficult to build all it is is skates some logs and some stone brick stairs and you don't have to use that material you could use cobblestone great great job on this i think it is such a nice little house and it looks really cute and all medieval and rustic-y so great job and congratulations on first place so because i know everybody's gonna be wondering so this is the breakdown for the prizes so first place is gonna get thirty thousand in-game money second place will get twenty thousand and third place will get ten thousand in-game money so congratulations to all three winners i do want to quickly say that when i was looking at the builds i did not look at the names i looked at the names after once i was about to do server saturday so that did not play a role in it um just because yours didn't get picked didn't mean i didn't like it it was a really hard decision and it's quite interestingly enough i think the mods and I all kind of had a different opinion. There was some that repeated themselves, like a couple of the mods like the same ones, but everybody kind of, you know, had their own opinions and tastes. So I definitely took the mods point of view um, into consideration when picking the top three. Um, but I will be doing another build challenge in the comments down below. You guys can leave your suggestions for the next one and then I'll announce it in the next server Saturday. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, when you put my server in your multiplayer thing on Minecraft, you have this really cute logo and now it says like, let's play fan server and that's thanks to Ricky for doing that. So we finally have a logo for the server. Yay! Oh look, we have Miranda Sings over here. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that competition. Competition. don't take it too seriously it was a lot of fun and you guys did an amazing amazing job and i love that you guys were so excited about it so now it's time for a drop party so today we are gonna drop loads of enchanted books all at their highest enchantment so let's go ahead and drop one here 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 over here over here over here, we're just dropping them all over the place so no one can keep track of where I am. And then we'll drop a couple of heads as well. So let's drop one of each of these. Perfect. Oh, look! Jay, let's play got one. So we're going to drop a skeleton skull, a zombie skull, a Steve skull, and a Steve one. Oh, I think Krista Cree got it! Yeah, she did. Oh, did she get it? I think she, oh no, she didn't. Uh, Mariah did. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you would like to join the server, the IP is in the description below. Anyway, you guys, I will see you guys in the next server Saturday. Bye.